Hey, what's going on guys? So it's day four of working on my car. Uh, today we are getting rid of the brake lines, uh, a few lines. I already started on it. Um, I went ahead and got the proportioning valve off. Uh, I'm not gonna tuck the proportioning valve inside the car, but I'm just gonna bring it down uh, to a lower spot, have it hidden away. Um, just cause I don't, I don't know how I feel about having brake lines or any kind of fluid lines inside my actual car. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lower it somewhere in this area um, and then run new lines. Okay, I'm gonna to attempt to try to show you guys how to flare a uh, brake line um, using one hand. Um, so for starters, um, you will want to get your stock stock line bolt nut whatever and you want to slide it on make sure it's facing the threads are facing the right way uh, after that you will get your clamp here uh, for our lines we're going to be using the 3 16 Okay, so we'll clamp it onto the 3-6 line uh, after that. Uh, just to know, you have to let it stick out a little bit. Just so you can know, there's these uh, little fittings that's supposed to go inside uh, the hole itself. I use the end of it and it kind of shows you how far uh, for it to stick out. After that, you'll want to get this. If I can get it in there. Get this inside. You'll grab this. Slide it over. Towards you, we gotta go towards you. Clamp it down. You'll take it off. <clears throat> take this piece off, set it aside, and then you'll go and double flare it using just the tool itself uh, I usually just snug it, I don't go all the way down And get it out and there you go double flare so you'll do these on all the lines uh, and like I mentioned before don't forget to put your actual uh, brake line bolt or nut uh, and slide it on before you flare it otherwise you won't be able to put it on hey okay, guys so I'm here actually sitting inside the engine bay um, so what I did was I use the two factory lines, uh, cut them to where they're sitting down here, uh, got rid of the plastic, flared them, used the original uh, nuts, and then set the proportioning valve down here. And uh, what I'll do is get the passenger side line, run it right here, driver side line, Run it right here, and then these two line goes to the master cylinder, or the master cylinder, which will be something like that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to reuse these lines because they're 
old butt. You get the point. Uh, still day four of the brake lines. I uh, went ahead and finished it. Uh, it's kind of hard to show you guys how I actually flared the lines and everything, but I uh, flipped the prop valve, portioning valve um, sideways, and I ran the two lines off the factory uh, lines that was already there. And then you have these two back lines right here, uh, depending on which way you flip the uh, proportioning valve, two lines go to the master slave cylinder. I mean the master cylinder. And then I got the passenger line and the driver line right here. So let me step out of the engine bay here. Kind of get an idea of what it will look like. Nice, clean. Um, simple, you don't have to drill holes through your firewalls. You know, a lot of people want to completely get rid of the brake line but for me I just like the clean look uh, not all scattered upon the uh, firewall but just nice and low uh, tucked away um, and you straighten the lines out a little bit um, but it'll do so we got the uh, power steering lines uh, we're gonna go to the hardware store and find a plug for this one and then loop these two lines. Uh, I don't know if I want to do a hard line loop or uh, just rubber holes and clamps, but we'll see as far as uh, prices because I'm not the richest person, but we'll see. 